district has always been really concerned about low cost, reliable power. It's what we do, it's what we do great. So if a turbine has a problem, that is a high priority. We're gonna take care of that. If a substation has a problem, we're all over. We're gonna be out there taking care of that right away. But at facilities, they always kind of are that thing that you have a hard time putting your finger on that they actually contribute to low cost, reliable power. What we did in this study is we actually tested that and we found that they do. They have a huge part in low cost, reliable power. The Chelan PUD has over 100 buildings. We've taken really good care of those assets over the years, but we simply have outgrown our current facilities and a number have long outlived their life expectancy and their usefulness. Each year we're spending millions of dollars just to simply maintain the buildings that we're in right now. Those dollars could be much better spent for the benefit of our customer owners. One of the challenges that we face is the location of our line crews. The crews and their trucks are located downtown on our 5th Street campus, and a lot of the materials are located at Holly Street, so they have to go north to Holly Street, and sometimes they even have to go south to Appalachie to pick up a pole. Line crews are spending all this time driving around town before they even get a chance to go to the job site, which can often be located as far away as Lake Wenatchee or Manson. We have a lot of employees at Rock Island that drive back and forth across the dam be between the two powerhouses. Not an efficient use of their time, especially with the congestion on the dam, because you spend half the day driving around. We had a lot of brainstorming sessions. What does it cost to do this? What if this happens? You can't make a good decision unless you know all the information and you know it well. And what we determined was that investing in new facilities pays for itself over the long term better than continuing to reinvest in older, dilapidated facilities. At Rock Island, we're looking at providing facilities on both sides of the river to create the efficiencies that we know can occur when the groups aren't traveling across the river to get their materials and their tools. At Rocky Reach, we're looking at rehabbing their main shop building and making it more modern and making it more safe. When it comes to the Wenatchee location, really our best solution is to consolidate operations at one location north of the Wenatchee River. So having the crews and all their equipment in one location will be much more efficient. In an emergency situation, like a fire or substation outage, it will significantly improve our response time across the county. Additionally, this gives us the opportunity to engage the customer owner and find out what works for them to design the, the headquarters in such a way that the customer has a better experience. We can create a one-stop shop where they can have conservation information, pay a bill, or get a permit for a new service. We know a lot of people are concerned. PUD has always been a huge supporter of the community. We're, we're, we're in the community. So whether we're working with the downtown businesses, with the city, with other agencies, we're committed to make sure that we don't impact the downtown in a negative way, we don't impact the city and the community in a negative way. We can have a win for relocating the PUD's facilities and have a win for downtown. This decision is hugely important for the long term of the Chelan County PUD and the customer owners that we represent. We really are trying to live out the values of the district and the motto of do the best for the most people for the longest period of time.